Gosford in East Lothian, the home of the 12th Earl of Weems. When he returned after the Second World War, he found his ancestral seat almost in ruins. Ooh, gracious. Well, this was the kitchen with a, an opaque glass roof and family rooms on the uh, first and second story around it. Like many of the great houses of Britain during the war, Gosford had been an army base, with soldiers living in the house and tanks on the lawn. Military occupation often led to extensive damage. At Gosford, an army electrician had accidentally set fire to the ballroom, and four-fifths of the vast mansion was now uninhabitable. Like all great country houses, the grandeur of Gosford had been an expression of aristocratic power. Now, the family was reduced to living in the South Wing. The aristocracy had reached an all-time low. In the 1945 election, Labour vigorously attacked privilege and the uneven distribution of wealth. Now a new parliament must be elected. The choice is between that same Conservative Party, which stands for private enterprise, private profit and private interests, and the Labour Party, which demands that in peace as in war, the interests of the whole people should come before those of a section. There don't seem to be any pigeons living in them now. Were they full? Hmm? Were they full of pigeons at one point? Oh, they had had pigeons in them, mm -hmm. but not now. At the Labour Party conference, Dennis Healy expressed the class-conscious sentiments of many servicemen. The upper classes in every country, he said, are selfish, depraved, dissolute and decadent. What we must do is talk about the decorations that we're going to have for the party on the 21st. Well, what is that party? I mean, who's coming to it? Gosford still has the marble hall and the 25 rooms leading off it. No, but... When Lord Weems grew up here before the war, this staircase led to rooms lined in white silk, hung with the portraits of Stuart Kings. There were bathrooms made of marble and a whole corridor of bedrooms for bachelor guests. His second wife didn't know the house when it stood intact. Now most of it is a confusing jumble of ruins. I'm afraid I can't find the room just now. Well, there isn't one. No, but I, I keep did... telling you. No, all right. There is no room we, here. We can look in beyond the big dining Unless room. Unless you go through the window and into that room. All right. Mm -hmm. Are these really bird ne bird's nests? It wasn't only military carelessness that caused the damage, but also dry rot and faulty mortar. After the war, building materials were scarce, and you had to have a license to make repairs to private houses. The licenses were few and far between. Quite a dangerous place there. You might walk over and get killed. The real threat, though, was the idea that these buildings represented a way of life which had gone for good. They need dozens of servants to run them, and hardly anyone wanted to be a servant anymore. So at Gosford, as elsewhere, they simply gave up and took the roof off. The North Wing was left open to the elements. <laughs> 